we present all my island people say We people celebrating all it from my homeland Like my old man say there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical Straight from the crew out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more than my culture is falling Now we have a step up for the past 20 scrolling Once the world is stopped ain't nobody gonna stop us People everybody would you listen to us for a start No boy complaining and then this report taking We represent the cause Previously on Delos, we start our long sail out into the open ocean. Our autopilot brake. Okay, turn it off. You're gonna have to drive by hand. And Brady gets his stitches removed. Ah, fuck that shit. That sucks. I don't really know what I was gonna say. <laughs> Let me start that again. Hello, everybody. It's now 2 o'clock in the morning and we've been sailing now for a little less than a week and the wind's totally died down well not totally but it's a lot less than it was a few days ago Well the breeze is fucking with us but I think we're in the middle of the high now which means we should see northeast north and then it should go west and then we'll be back in the southeast of this hopefully Within within six hours or twelve hours or something. What do you think? Yes. Bumper off. Um. It is nearly four a.m. <laughs> we are now going uh, one two knots. So we're pretty much standing still. It's just starting to drizzle. How are our sailing conditions? Shite! <laughs> what happened? We have no wind and there's just enough swell to sort of back on the sails and so we're just banging and ka-doom, ka-doom. and we've got two knots of current against us. So I speed through the water is four, four and a half and we're going like one and a half, two. So it's really, it hurts. And our ETA went from? <laughs> yeah, four, five days to 10, 11 days. Oh so. no. <laughs> we're kind of just, everyone's just a bit like, oh, today. Everybody's watching movies. Yeah. How many movies have you watched on this trip, Rugs? I don't know. Like five. More than that. More than that. Brady watched so many movies he finally passed out. Mm. And 527 nautical miles to go. Yep. And it is day seven or something like that, I think. Mm. Haven't really showered all week. <laughs> but. It's a bit of a mission doing it on passage because you just have to keep the balance and so I think I'm just going to wait until we get to um, Chagos. At least we're moving now. <laughs> so we've given up. We got down to three knots of wind and I don't know, you're going like one knot and the boat was just so it, we gave up and I was really hoping we could do this without motoring the whole sail but it's not, not gonna happen this trip, so. Now we're doing five and a half knots. It's a little bit more comfortable and hopefully we'll get some wind back in the next day or so. What are you getting out of the freezer, Bubs? I'm not. I need to eat before they go back. <laughs> you guys enjoy your fruit, because it's gonna be the last you're gonna have in like two months. <laughs> Apples are so expensive, we only got seven. Seven. <laughs> one per person. One per one apple per person. <laughs> Brian realized he hasn't had his yet. What are you going to do with it? I might just write, fuck off on it and put it in the fridge. <laughs> Let it rot. <laughs> Me and Brady already ate our apples, didn't we, babe? We did. Should I save it? It was about that time, a few days into the passage, and the ocean hunger was kicking in. We were almost out of fresh stuff the meats carefully rationed out, 
and our meals mostly contained out of mush wraps. Oh, yum! <laughs> Me and Max are just talking about what we miss, and it's mostly about food. Um, and Bob's is uh, in the galley and she's frying garlic and onions, and just that smell is just. I'm sitting here thinking about steaks. How I would marinate them for 24 hours. Just put them on the barbie. Yeah, that's what I miss for right now. I've been craving tonka guy. Oh, creamy, delicious, warm. I had a dream about a big filet mignon steak with blue cheese crumbles. You dreamt about this? Yeah. <laughs> And then you have ice cream for dessert or panna cotta or something. Oh, I miss food so much right now. on the port side. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Frida? We give you the word, just be ready to pull in on it. Um, when, when Frida's got it hoisted and then it'll fill. Okay. Am I going too far? Nope. Okay, that's good, Max, for now. So you might be wondering why we were all so overexcited about this fish. Well, this means no more mush wraps for a while. Oh, yum! <laughs> for lunch we have a leftover scramble. <laughs> what have you prepared for us, chef? A little bit of wahoo wahoo and some uh, mashed potatoes. Mm. It was going to be bang as a match and what is beautiful fish. Change of pants. Looks delish. Mm. Look at the sunset. It is uh, four o'clock in the morning. It's a beautiful night and the moon is out really cool so I might go to sleep for a few hours.
you wrap? Where are we? Um, we're about 300 miles southeast of Chagos. So I think we have about two days left, maybe three. But we're doing really good. It's constant 10 knots and we're doing about five knots with the two awesome downwind sails. So pleasant. Like everybody's inside working and doing stuff. And I feel like we're at a dock. I know. This mate sent us his book from Kenya. He was a fighter pilot. Lots of shenanigans. Good stuff. <laughs> we're making bracelets around necklaces. <laughs> We caught some wahoo <laughs> yesterday, so I'm making um, fish tacos or a sailing uh, sailor's version of fish tacos. <laughs> Pretty much what we have. Uh, so I'm just gonna let that sit for a while, and then I'm gonna fry with some onions, some garlic, um, other herbs, and some veggies and corn and stuff. And then we're gonna have it with wraps, tortillas. Yum. Dinner is almost ready. Divine, divine. And Max made this delicious brownie that I'm munching on. And Max is making music. Quite a nice office. And we are in the middle of the Indian Ocean. So cool. Good morning everyone. It's almost 8am, but the good news is that we are about a day away from Chagos, which is exciting. I'm really excited about that. And we have a beautiful sunrise. Check it out. And you can definitely tell we've moved a little bit further north because it's a lot hotter than it was in Cocos. Brian decided to take a little break from the boat. It's hot. We've got a man overboard. Just gonna go for it. Do it. Two time. What happened to Max? He died. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you looked seriously passed out. Yeah, I just had a swim and now I'm having a nice nap. <laughs> we have a bird that is about to land on the boat. <laughs> Check out the sky. Weird. Like imagine if the whole atmosphere was always a red tint. It's so beautiful. I've never seen anything like that before. Look at the color of the water. They yeah. look like UFO discs. They might be aliens. What do? Those ones. I've been trying so many times, it's so fun. <laughs> it's his little crib feet and he's like <laughs> and he keeps going around the boat. But finally like after 20 times he's landed. So we're about 22 miles away from Solomon Atoll. All is good. Excited to be there. It's been a good passage but definitely ready for the beach. The USS uh, Pomeroy of America is out there. We talked to them on the radio. Oh, really? The US ship Pomeroy. This is the sailing vessel Delos on 160. American ship. Hey, 
Yeah, Dallas, uh, this is Pomeroy. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, we just saw you. We noticed you turned your lights off, so we were wondering uh, who you were, what you were, and uh, what are your intentions. Over. Yeah, we're just uh, got some wind back, getting under sail, and we're inbound for uh, Solomon Atoll ETA tomorrow morning. Over. Okay, sir. We appreciate the information. Do the British know you were coming? Over. Oh yeah, we've got our permits and everything. Okay, great. Enjoy yourself, and uh, have a good evening and good watch. Yep. Happy watch, happy sailing. <laughs> They're over. You can see them over there off the port side. They're about eight, nine miles away now, but they're nothing to worry about. It's uh, two o'clock in the morning, and I'm just finishing my night watch. Chow girls, here we go! Look! You can see land! It's very exciting. So we've came in a bit early. <laughs> <laughs> so we just have to do these fake tacks we're, and we're just going to go north for a bit and then we're going to go south 30 minutes up and 30 minutes and that way we can motor around once the sun comes up because we don't know how accurate the charts are here. perfect right now. The moon's like about to set and the sun's about to come up and you can see land, you can smell it. <laughs> Which is... Good morning. <laughs> Cute. We're almost there, Bubsy. Yay. We'll be going through the pass soon, just so you know. Okay. It's so cold. Land right there. I woke up and I was like, it's so close as well. When you're showing my mom, we're like, oh, it feels like a Christmas. Like you're waiting for something, you know? So beautiful though. Holy oh, shit, there's land! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like it. It smells like land. It smells quite a lot, doesn't it? Where are we? We're on the northwestern side. It's the night trap. So the entrance is pretty narrow. There's, it looks like a five meter deep little path through the reef, and it's not that wide. It's like maybe just a couple of boat widths wide. So we've got Brady up the mast so he can spot it, and uh, hopefully we won't have any problems getting it. Up next, we're in Chagos! Nice! Paradise! We explore the deserted atolls of Chagos. Salty lemonade. I'm good, man. <laughs> it's not called catching, it's called fishing. <laughs> Did you guys see that sunrise and moonrise this morning? Night. <laughs> 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 